Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our institutions. Safety officer interviews question and answer training videos. Thank you. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Today I will teach you about what is injury and explanation. It is designed as a harmful condition sustained by the body as a result of an accident. What are the categorizing injury? 1. Injury 2. Minor injury 3. Significant injury 4. Major injury 5. Dangerous occurrence or damage only 6. Near miss What is injury? Injury is physical damage or harm which is suffered by a person. What is minor injury? An injury which does not involve time off work. What is significant injury? A significant injury is one which is not major, but which results in the injured person being away from work or being unable to carry out their full range of normal duties. What is major injury? Major injuries are those which can be regarded as a serious threat to a person's health and well-being. What is dangerous occurrence? 1. A fire or explosion not resulting in injury. 2. An escape of flammable or toxic gas, vapor or fluid. 3. The collapse, overturning or failure of load-bearing parts of lifts and lifting equipment. 4. Explosion, collapse or bursting of any closed vessel or associated pipework. 5. Electrical short circuit or overload causing a discharge spark. 6. Failure of industrial radiography or irradiation equipment to de-energize or return to its safe position after the intended exposure period. What is near miss? A near miss is any unplanned incident, accident or emergency which did not result in an injury. What are the manual handling hazards injuries? People pick up and move objects all the time at work and any such activity may present a hazard. The risk is that the action will cause an injury. 1. Failing to use a proper technique for lifting and moving the object load. 2. Moving loads which are too heavy. 3. Failing to grip the object load in a safe manner. 4. Not wearing appropriate personal protective equipment. What are the main causes of injury? 1. Failing to use a proper technique for lifting and moving the object load. 2. Moving loads which are too heavy. 3. Failing to grip the object load in a safe manner. 4. Not wearing appropriate personal protective equipment. What are the common types of injury? 1. Back injuries. 2. Muscular problems. 3. Hernias. 4. Cuts, abrasions and bruising. 5. Bone injuries. 6. Work-related upper limb disorders. Rules. What are the back injuries? These are caused by twisting, lifting or pushing loads where the stress is carried on the spine, usually towards the base. What is muscular problems? When a muscle is stretched beyond its normal limit it is strained. When it is subjected to sudden or excessive force it may be sprained. Either of these two causes may tear or rupture the casing of the muscle, which is a serious injury. The effect is to weaken joints and restrict movement, making movement painful. What is hernias? A hernia is a tear in the muscles of the gut cavity wall, usually in the lower abdomen, which allows part of the intestine to stick out through the tear. It is caused by excessive strain on those muscles during lifting. What are the cuts, abrasions and bruising? These will be caused by contact with the surfaces of the objects or loads being handled. The size and weight of an object makes no difference in causing cuts and abrasions. A single sheet of paper is well known for producing painful cuts on the fingers. What is bone injuries? Fractures and breaks are usually impact injuries caused by crushing part of the body, usually fingers, under a load or dropping objects on feet. They may also be caused by slips, trips and falls. What are the work-related upper limb disorders? Rules. 1. General fatigue and loss of concentration or coordination. 2. Inflammation of the wrist tendon, muscle tendon junction or tendon sheath tenosynovitis. 3. Inflammation of the tissue of the hand or elbow, or even knee, 
caused by constant bruising or friction. 4. Compression of the peripheral nerves serving the upper limb, carpal tunnel syndrome. 5. Temporary fatigue, stiffness or soreness of the muscles. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.